Isaiah chapter 39. Malachi, the 39th book of the Bible. At that time, picking up from chapter 38, Merodach, Baldeum, the son of Baldeum, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah. For he had heard that he had been sick and recovered. So there was news back then, even without radio and television. News got around. And the news comes out that King Hezekiah, he was sick. And he recovered from his sickness. Now, what? when we look at the Bible of 2 Kings chapter 24 and 25, what brought the Babylonians over was not just we heard that he was sick and recovered, but the Babylonians who were astrologers, Daniel 1 and Daniel 2. They're looking at the, they're looking up in the sky and the sun went backwards. That don't happen every day. And it's interesting to the fact is when the sun did something in the sky as never done before besides the time of Joshua where it stayed still, where do the Babylonians run to? They run to the God in Jerusalem. And we're not going to look at the references, but you can look up uh, chapter 39, verse 1, 38, verse 8, 2 Chronicles 32, 31, 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 5, and Joshua 10, 12. Kind of ironic that this instance of the sign of the sun to the Jew brought the Gentiles into Jerusalem. Now go over to Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now where are these wise men? They're from the east. Some pictures, you know, you see the three wise men, though it doesn't say three. You know, they come from, you know, China and all that. Maybe they came from Babylon area. I know Babylon's gone, but saying he, where is the king born of the Jews? We have seen his star. And in Matthew chapter 2, we're talking about here's his star. Well, here's a group of people. We don't, don't know where they are. They're from the east. But like the Babylonians, we're looking up in the sky. What did the sun just do? What do we do? We run to the God in Jerusalem. Why didn't they run to their gods? Why didn't they run to Dagon? Why did they run to the God of Jerusalem, the God of the Jews? So here's another group of people. We don't know how many. They're looking up. Well, I'll be, you, you see that star over there? That star has never been there before. And it's not going to be there again. The people last year, oh, you know, the alignment of the planets and all that. They're going to be the Christmas star, you foolish. They're called planets. When I looked at the Christmas star, I forget, there was two planets. One of the planets was Jupiter. Jupiter is not a star. It is a planet. And I started warning people that I, that, that, that image that fell down from Jupiter in the book of Acts. And we got the dragon going out of space. Man, the Antichrist is coming. But here are people that are looking to the heavens, and where does it bring them? It brings them to Jerusalem. You notice that? And Hezekiah, back in Isaiah chapter 39, verse 2, 
And that gets you proper Bible study, 2 Kings and all that, which we're not going to look at tonight. You can get go back to our 2 Kings study and get that. And Hezekiah was glad of them. Okay? And showed them the house of his precious things. The silver and the gold. No silver became before gold. And spices. Something with spices. Because <laughs> the queen of Sheba brought spices. And precious ointment. And all the house of his armor. His military strength. And all that was found in his treasures. He's bragging. There was nothing in his house, an open house, an open imitation, nor in his dominion, Jerusalem and Judah, that Hezekiah showed them not. Let's go see it all. Let's brag. Then came Isaiah the prophet onto the king Hezekiah. Again, this, this is one of the few times that Isaiah comes to Hezekiah. He walk, walks up to him and says, uh, And said unto him, what, see, what said these men? And whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country. Far away. They come from a far country unto me. All about me. Not really. The, the surprising fact is of that son. Even from Babylon. Then said he, Isaiah, What have they seen in thy house? And Hezekiah answered, All that's in my house, open house, they have seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. And then Isaiah to Hezekiah, hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the days come that all that's in thy house and all that which thy fathers had laid up in store unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. So you know what? You know what? Hezekiah did, he, he had an open house for Babylon. And ba Babylon made a shopping list. And they went back to Babylon, you know, the God of the, God of, of the Hebrews. You see, Hezekiah was sick. And the God of the Hebrews showed him a sign that he would recover, that he will 10 degrees on the sun. Down. That whole thing was, was the God of the Hebrews. And then Hezekiah just had to open house. He just showed us everything. Check out the list, making it twice to see if he's been naughty or nice. So when Babylon will come later on, at the time of Jeremiah, and when we close Second Kings, when Nebuchadnezzar, the armies come and they take away the, the, the pillars and they take away uh, the brazen altar and they break up the brass and they and they... Three times Nebuchadnezzar comes into Jerusalem and sacks the city and takes off the treasures. Where, what was all the treasures? All the treasures that they saw in Hezekiah. Ne uh, Nebuchadnezzar had a shopping list. Thanks to the men here of Hezekiah say, hey, look at this, look at this. Hey, check out this building, check out that building. And it's bragging. And I've, I've heard guest preachers, you know, first thing they want to do when, when I arrive is they want to show me the building, their church building. And they take you to church, building. this is this, this is that, this is that, this is our baptism, this is... They're bragging. I even had, when I came down to Florida for a church down here, I mean, we got in like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and we had to go see the church building. Open up the building, turn the lights out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see it in, in Sunday morning. They make a big deal.
Notice how Hezekiah does, you know, showed them, doesn't say anything about Hezekiah showing them God. But you know that he showed them the temple because he showed them every building and everything. Behold, the day is come that, that all that's in thy house and that which thy father has laid up in store unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. And it will. Nothing shall be left. Save the Lord. <coughs> and of thy sons that shall issue from thee, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Indigo, which thou shalt be guest. Daniel was of the royal. Shall they take away. Daniel chapter 1. And they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Daniel. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah. Good is the word of the Lord. Which he has spoken. Now if he only just said that. We leave it alone. He said, moreover, <laughs> for there shall be peace in truth in my days. Look how selfish he is. Uh, let's come back over to chapter 38, verse 1. In those days Hezekiah is sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said, Thus saith the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt, surely, thou shalt die and not live. Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and he prayed unto the Lord. Prayer verse 3. Verse 5, God hears the prayer. Where's the prayer in verse 8? Why doesn't he turn to the wall and sackcloth in tears like he did when he finds out he's going to die? You mean my great great grandchildren? I'm never going to meet. They're going to go to Babylon. They're going to be made eunuchs. Why doesn't he turn to the wall then? Come see all the great splendor I have. Come see all my treasures. He's selfish. Boy, I know a lot of Christians like that. 